In this video, I'm gonna teach you how to add an existing tap card to an Apple Wallet. It's a very easy process, so make sure to follow along. All you have to do to manage your pre-existing tap cards and add them to an Apple Wallet is to use the latest version of the Tap LA mobile app. So open the App Store and look for the app that I just mentioned, Tap LA. You will be able to import the pre-existing cards into an Apple Wallet. Of course, you also have the option to do this process directly through the Apple Wallet, but I'm gonna leave this method till later. If you want to add an existing tap card to an Apple Wallet, all you have to do is open the latest version of the app like I mentioned, switch over to the Cards tab using the menu at the bottom of the screen, and then tap the plus sign to add a new card to your account or find the one that you wish to add to an Apple Wallet. Once it appears and you see the stored value and passes on that specific card that you are going to be importing over to your wallet, just go back to the home screen and the button to add the card to an Apple Wallet should be displayed, usually at the top. As long as you select this option, you will be immediately redirected into the Apple Wallet with all the details about the card automatically filled out for you. You will see the balance and you also have the option to add money directly from your Apple Wallet. Like I said, this process through the latest version of their mobile app makes it very convenient because automatically all the credentials about the tap card, including the amount of stored value or passes, are going to be imported over and you don't have to worry about managing a new card. Everything is pre-existing and tied to your account. Now, like I said previously, in the beginning, you also have the option to do this process directly through the Apple Wallet instead of using the app. It's down to personal preference and I recommend doing it through the app first because you will guarantee that an existing card will be imported over and all the details are going to be automatically filled out. But if you wish to do it manually through the latest version of the Apple Wallet, open it up and you will find the plus sign at the top right corner of the screen. Tap the plus sign and afterwards choose to add a transit card from the list of options. Upon selecting transit card, you can now find the tap card among the list of options to add. As long as you select the tap type of card as the tap card, you will be able to see it linked under your wallet. Doing the process this way might not guarantee that you will be able to bring over any stored value or passes on existing cards, so keep that in mind. Regardless of which option you pick, the card will now be available under the Apple Wallet and you can use your phone physically to pay for any future fares. Just place your phone physically near the card reader and you will be good to go. I hope I was able to help you on how to add an existing tap card to an Apple Wallet. If this video helped you, please be sure to leave a like and subscribe for more very easy tips. Thank you for watching.